Hey there folks, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have, from Open Mic Eagle, another triumph of ghetto engineering. So this is the sort of project that I really wish I liked more than I do. I've been a big Open Mic Eagle fan for nearly the past decade, and while Component System with the Auto Reverse took a while to really click for me, and I wouldn't put it among his best, I still think it's a great album. It's among the best of 2022. Now, this project seems to be continuing off some themes from that last project, not just in mistakes or missed opportunities, but also the nostalgia associated with the underground scene that can feel increasingly fragmented where you can tell that a lot of this was built off of barely scraping by where it maybe doesn't feel as successful anymore, but there is still community worth cherishing. It shouldn't work, but it mostly does. If you know, you know. But at the same time, that intent gets mired across the project where the execution doesn't really do it a lot of favors. It feels weirdly short, with Dave said these are the liner notes being a credit sequence slash throwback shoutout track to a song that does really a lot of the same on We Should Have Made Other Ground a Thing, on an album that runs about 25 minutes, there's very little in the way of tighter melody or stronger grooves or hooks across production that feels very shambling and stitched together. It is well produced in that lane, but often not as punchy or sticky as it could be. Open Mike Eagle himself cedes a lot of time to his guest stars, and when he does take center stage, there's a wry fatalism that I don't think has as much of his usual usual wit or thoughtful emotionality. It's frequently very clever and descriptive, but I kept hoping that it would build up to more, which might as well be the intentional underlying theme of this entire project. But it also feels insular, like an Ouroboros, where I think that the rappers getting shouted at will appreciate this a lot more than really the audience trying to peer into this world, which given the dare layered behind a new rap festival named Falling Loud, that also feels very intentional in exposing the challenging, very human reality of this underground rap scene that it's not built for everyone. But it can also feel like a limited lane for Open Mike Eagle. And I think he knows that too, given how the album ends on Mad Enough to Throw a Pyramid at You. I think between this and Component System with the Auto Reverse, there were some deeply buried deep demons or memories, and if this deceptively rough project is enough to help get him there, I can respect that. Hell, on some level it can be a celebration as well. I just wish I liked it a lot more. It's definitely a listen worth having. It's more clever and more tightly knit than I think a lot of people will say. Just temper some expectations, all I'm saying. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on what is probably a pretty difficult project, one that is deceptively difficult, I would say. If you guys want to get more albums on my schedule or just support the channel, link to my Patreon is right over there. And as always, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.